Hello guys, this is Fratoso, the series programming data to tune class. And in this particular tutorial, I'm going to create a time-based simulation of um, LED lights. So as you can see here, you have eight LED lights uh, with the behavior that at any particular time, we have one on and uh, the rest off. The light itself seems to be moving back and forth with a delay time of like one or two seconds. So this is a behavior that I'm going to capture in this simulation I'm going to create now. Um, an overview of the way I'm going to do this, I'll split the problem into two parts, where the first part will be when uh, the light moves to the right, as you can see here, and the second part will be when light moves to the left. So let's begin. This is a C program, so I'll start by creating a skeleton. So there goes the skeleton. And then um, the next thing I'll define a couple of constants that we need for our program. So these are program constants. And uh, the first one is uh, delay time, which is the time it takes for one LED to remain on. And then the next one is uh, the running time, which is the time the program itself takes to, to, to run. Then I'll start the simulation by initializing a couple of time variables and constants. So here initialize time variables. So as you may know that the variable that holds the current time uh, has to be very long actually because uh, the time itself is expressed in uh, seconds and it contains the day, the month, and the year. So you can imagine how many seconds are there. And actually it is the time that has passed since uh, January 1st, 1970. The number of seconds since 1970. So you can, you can imagine how big that should be. That's why it, I, I store it in 64-bit uh, 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 integer. So the first variable is going to be start and uh, the way we get the current time is by using this function time which is defined inside uh, the header called uh, time. So the header is time.h and then uh, the next thing I define uh, the start of the program itself. So, because I, I want this to be sort of uh, not changing as a constant, so I'll call it, uh, okay, I'll call it Mwanzo. So again, this is going to be time. So both are going to read the current time. And then uh, next, I need a timer. Now, the way I define this timer is that uh, the timer is going to be the difference between the current time and uh, the start time. And uh, at the beginning, I'll let this difference be equal to the delay time. So there go my time variables. And uh, actually, I can show you how this variable look like. So we can have here uh, decimal, actually long, with uh, start, for instance. And if we run this, oops, uh, I put this in. Yeah, you can see. So these are the, like uh, the number of seconds that have passed since uh, 1972 now. Okay, then uh, the next part is actually going to be the part of running the simulation itself. 
So because I want the simulation to run for 30 seconds, the way I'm going to do this is of course using a while loop. And the terminating condition is going to be if the difference between the current time and uh, the beginning of the program itself is greater than 30, then the program will end. So the program will continue to run provided this condition is true, that uh, the current time minus the beginning of the program itself is less than the running time. So it's less than 30 seconds. The program will continue to run. Otherwise, the program will stop. So what do we have inside this loop? So the first thing I'm going to define here is um, the part where the program, where the, the light moves to, to the left, to the right. So light moving to the left to the right and then later I'll define uh, light the part that light moves to the left so I start with the part where light moves to the right and uh, because I have eight LED lights and I'm going to light a single LED at a time it means uh, I'm going to use a four loop here so let's say for k1, k up to 8, increment k, and because I've used k here, I need to define it here, k. So what this loop does is that uh, it is going to light a single LED at a time, starting from the single, from the first LED to the last one, from the first to the eighth. And uh, inside here, I'm going to, to do a couple of the following things. First, I want the shift or the change to occur after every one second. Now, this program is going to run with the speed of the processor. So like mine here is uh, about 2 gigahertz. So it means in one second, this... Uh, this while loop will repeat uh, fairly like uh, millions of times, like two million times. So in order for the change to occur only once in uh, every one second, I'm going to reduce the time counter. So we cannot stop the program, but we'll make the program ignore the change until one second has been reached. So how are we going to do it? Now because we want uh, the change to occur and then we want the program to run inside this loop for particular value of k until the change has occurred, we need to use uh, a while loop. Now I want to use while do, I'll use uh, do while because I want to test the condition uh, at the end. So what I'm going to do here is that uh, I run this current loop until the time itself is equal to the delay time. So until timer is equal to the delay time. So this is the terminating condition when timer is equal to the delay time. That means this loop should run when timer is not equal to the delay time. So we have it like that. So what are you going to have inside here? So inside here, I'm going to, to test whether the delay time has been reached. And uh, if the delay time has been reached, I'm going to, to bring out the change, or I'm going to shift the light from one LED to the next one. So here I'm going to shift the light if uh, the delay time is 
is over. So I just need to, to test here that if timer is equal to delay time, then I need to do something. So if timer is equal to the delay time, the first thing I'll do is to reset the time counter. So I'll reset the time counter. And then, uh, so the way I do it is uh, just to say timer is equal to zero. And as well as to define the new starting point of my time. So the new starting point is just going to be the current time. So this is the new starting point for counting the next second. Remember this time I just uh, uh, calculates how many seconds have uh, elapsed since the current time. Now because the change has just occurred now, I define the new starting point. So there I have, uh, I've, reset it, the, I've reset the time counter. So the next thing is I need to display the current status of all the LEDs. So here I have uh, display uh, LED lights. So remember in this I need to display all eight LED lights and again only one should be on and the rest should be off. So I'll symbolize the LED that is off by a dot and uh, the one that is on by um, a zero. So here because I need to light to display the status of all the LED lights, I'll have to use uh, another um, loop here. So I'll use a for loop. So from the first one to the last, So I've used L here, I'll define L here. So from the first light to the last, then uh, just print. So if, if the value of L is equal to K, this is to, to say that we are going to make it on. So if the value of L is equal to K, then uh, we should print it in, uh, we should print an O. So print an all there. Else we are just going to print uh, a dot. So this will mean that only one light will have an O, but the rest will have a dot. So the effect is going to be like uh, one light is on and the rest is are off. So then after that we can after printing all that we can print a new line so we can print a new line there and uh, so this is if the delay time if the timer is equal to delay time now what if it is not equal to delay time so if it is not equal to delay time what should uh, go on actually is just to update the, the the timer itself so if it is not equal then timer so this part is just going to modify the the time count so the way we do it is just timer is equal to uh, the current time subtract uh, the starting point so this just modifies the time count and when uh, the timer has reached uh, one minute, this loop will go on. And uh, the counter, the time counter will be reset and uh, the LEDs will be modified. The status of the LEDs will be modified. And after that, uh, the loop will exit. So the loop will exit because uh, uh, this condition here will be false because the timer will be equal to uh, delay time. So let's run and see uh, what we have uh, so far. Oops, we have an error here. So it's an error. So our timer is not a function. Okay. 
So you see this just uh, this O is moving to, to the right. Now what we want is uh, for it to be displayed in the same line. So the technique I'm going to use here is to clear the screen. So the function clear the screen is available in the uh, standard library. So standard library dot header. And uh, what you're going to do is actually just uh, uh, call the the command line and uh, clear the screen from there. So at what point we need to clear the screen? Uh, just before displaying the LED lights here. So call system. Then this is uh, how you clear the screen from the command line. Okay. So let's see now. So here we have uh, the the light move moving to the right. So I'll add a couple of uh, lines here so that uh, it can look nicer. Let's run it again. So you can see we have the O which moves to the right and then starts again here. Course. So what we need next is that uh, when it reaches at 8 to go back 7, 6, 5, etc. up to 1. So how are we going to do that? So there is where we need uh, the next part here, light moving to the left. Now because uh, it has e exactly uh, the same functionality with uh, small modifications, I'll just copy this part and then uh, paste it here. So what we want is that uh, when it reaches the last light to start from the seventh one back to the second one and this time decreasing the value of k but the rest of the things are going to remain the same. We are going to bring out the change only when uh, the timer is equal to delay time. So let us see. So it is moving to the right. And then you can see here now. Yeah, so this is what we, we want really. And uh, you can see here our simulation is over now. So after 30 seconds, it will actually stop by itself. So this is how uh, you do it. And uh, you can see it is uh, just simple. So to increase the time, the delay time, you can just change it here. So let's say I want a delay time of uh, three seconds. So I put three seconds there. And then uh, you see now it takes three seconds before the light moves to the next one. So I return to one. And uh, that's it. So the main ideas of this uh, simulation are just to capture the current time using uh, time where you feed now pointer here. And uh, remember this uh, time is defined uh, in the header time.h. And uh, also to display nicely, uh, uh, I called uh, com the command line using uh, a system call here. And uh, this is actually defined, uh, the, the system call itself is defined uh, in the standard library. Yeah, so this is it. And uh, this is actually the end. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.